a judoka with no haters, or a humble Japanese man who beats all his opponents with a smile thanks to his crowning trick. That's how I wanted to characterize the Japanese judoka Goki Tajima. This guy has a very spectacular style of fighting, thanks to which he managed not only to win the sympathy of fans, but also to win several important gold medals from major tournaments. Enjoy the show everyone! And we start with the first serious start of Japanese judoka. It was the 2017 World Junior Championships in Zagreb. It was then that the Japanese, who fought in the category up to 90 kilograms, introduced us all to his fighting style. You can see on your screens what Goki Tajima's favorite and crowning throw is. Yes, it is exactly so Tsurikamigoshi, the crowning move of our judoka. Back then in Zagreb, Goki won gold at the World Junior Championships. I think the Japanese coaching staff was pleased to have such a talented judoka in this weight class. It is also worth remembering the Grand Slam tournament in 2017. Then in Yekaterinburg, Goki also showed excellent judo and was able to take away a medal. In the second round he defeated Nemanja Maidov from Serbia, and in the quarterfinals he lost to Gviniashvili with a rather beautiful throw. In the consolation match, Goki Tajima again defeated his opponent with a Sod Surikamigoshi upon hold and advanced to the bronze final. In the bronze medal bout, the Japanese defeated experienced judoka Alexander Kukoli from Serbia. It was his first award from the Grand Slam tournaments in his career. Now let's move on to the year 2023 in Tbilisi. At the Grand Slam tournament, Goki flew alone. The Japanese were without a coach, and he was the only representative from his country. This moment caught the attention of many judo fans. It was interesting to see how a judoka fought without a coach during a bout, especially a judoka representing Japan. Then in the quarterfinals Goki wrestled closely with Olympic champion Lasha Bakari, and Lasha defeated him by a pawn. In the consolation match, Goki was able to defeat the strong Georgian back Agvinishvili with an excellent so Tsurikamigoshi throw on a pawn and earn a chance to fight for bronze. In the bout for bronze he had to fight with the representative of Turkey Michael Zgank, and what was to my surprise, it took only less than a minute for the Japanese to finish his opponent with the most beautiful and crowning so Tsurikamigoshi technique. Goki executes this throw unmistakably, as if by the book and probably with love. Thus, the lone samurai took away the bronze medal from the Grand Slam in Tbilisi. Now we'll move on to what I love this judoka for, the World Team Championships. Let's start with the World Championships in Tashkent. Goki Tajima is like the joker of the Japanese national team for team championships. He literally crushes all his opponents at these tournaments. He doesn't care who's in front of him. You can see it all on your screens. In the first fight in Tashkent, Tajima won thanks to Tani Otoshi's upon throw. Then he managed to defeat Frank Dewitt in a tight fight. And already in the final meeting France vs Japan, Goki showed himself again. He opened the scoring thanks to an excellent Sotsurikamigoshi throw. And literally in the next attack, Tajima conducts a throw Kouchi and earns the second Wazori. Then in Tashkent the Japanese became world champions, and Goki Tajima won the first gold medal from the world championships in the team competition. A great fight, a good result, and an important medal in the rather difficult career of our hero. And immediately we move on to the World Championships in Doha in 2023. And again, the team event. Again a moment of glory for our fantastic judoka. In the bout against Korea, Tajima was able to win thanks to Sioi Nage's throw. Again a meeting with old comrade Frank DeWitt, which ends with the pawn for the Japanese. Thanks to the Sotsurikamigoshi's crowning move. And this is where Goki Tajima surprises. In the bout against Georgia, the Japanese beats world champion Luka Majoredzi and brings a crucial victory for his team at the World Championships. In the Japan vs France final, which is already a classic, Tajima was able to throw his opponent with a front Uchimata on Wazari. Thus the Japanese won the meet and Goki became a two-time world champion in the team event. You can give your own assessment of his wrestling in the comments, but I'll admit to you honestly that this guy has become one of my favorites lately. 
Well, now let's take a look at one of the most important and successful competitions for Goki Tajima, the Japanese Championships Without Weight categories. This is the tournament whose gold medal is the most important for almost all Japanese. And our hero, who weighs about 90 kilograms, really surprised me. Even here he was able to really light up despite the fact that heavy opponents fought against him. For example, our hero finished the second round of the competition in just 22 seconds. Goki performed his killer Sotsurikami Goshi against Japanese heavyweight Hoshino and confidently moved further down the tournament grid. In the third round, Goki Tajima fought against Dota Arai in the under 100 kilograms category. Tajima made a series of deceptive movements with his legs to throw his opponent at the end with an Ouchigari throw to reach the quarterfinals of the tournament. And there our hero was stronger than the Japanese super heavyweight, Vice Olympic champion Harasawa Hisayoshi. Goki Tajima defeated him by Shido and reached the semifinals. In the semifinals, Tajima faced a real test of his strength. A fight against the experienced heavyweight Takashi Ojitani, a multiple champion of Japan. But Tajima decided to surprise everyone in this meeting as well. Ochigari came in for a throw, but Takashi Ojitani was stronger. He managed to stop Tajima and earn a score. A loss in the semi-finals means one thing, third place and a bronze medal. Third place All Japan Tournament with no weight classes is a bronze with a golden touch for our 90kg do-gooder. Also worth mentioning is the April 2023 Japan 2023 weight class championships held in Fukuoka. Then our hero managed to show an excellent fight and reach the finals of the Japanese championship. In the bout for gold he was waiting for Mashu Baker, Olympic champion of Rio 2016, Judoka, who is gradually trying to regain his place in the main squad. In the end, Goki Tajima dumps Mashu Baker and becomes the Japanese champion earning himself a spot on the national team for next season. Tears of joy and another major accomplishment for our hero today. Also definitely worth mentioning is the Goki Tajima vs Muro Sanshiro confrontation. The thing is, the current leader of the national team, Muro Sanshiro, has fought Goki Tajima as many as three times on the domestic scene in Japan, and he's never managed to beat him. First, while still juniors, they met at the 2018 Kadokan Cup. Back then, Goki won thanks to a deceptive move and an underhand heel hook throw. The next place they met was at the All Japan Championship in 2021. And what do we see? Tajima throws Muro again with the same technique and comes out victorious from this encounter. And here is their third meeting at the 2022 All Japan Featherweight Championships. But it's not going to happen a third time, I thought. And I was wrong. Tajima executes the exact same hold and defeats Muro Sonshiro once again. It's interesting, Goki Tajima is a rather uncomfortable opponent for the leader of this weight Muro Sonshiro. The purpose of this video was to introduce you to not the most titled judoka, but one of the most spectacular and technical. This hard worker definitely deserves the attention, and you make sure to put likes if you like this judoka too. Thank you all for your attention and see you soon.